Today, Jeff is going to be giving you a closer look at this Blue Smart OBD2 scanner for your car. Well, there's a bunch of different uh, models that you can get, or not models, but uh, categories of OBD2 scanners that you can get. This is another one. Um, if you don't like the, the wireless ones, Bluetooth ones, where you have to download an app on your phone or tablet to get your information, it might be a little bit uh, difficult. Um, good thing about these are that you get nice colorful graphs. Uh, about this one, it's it's a black and white screen, but you'll get the same information. Real-time information, everything. It's just all attached to a cable with a little uh, display here. And the same method is that you're going to find your OBD2 a port, which is usually on the driver's side, uh, right underneath uh, the wheel on most cars. Sometimes you'll have to you'll have to lay down on the floor and find it. But mine's just right here, um, and it looks like that. And usually they're white. So if you lay on the floor and look up, you'll most likely see it. But I know where mine is is right there. So I'm just going to plug him in really quick. So as soon as you plug them in, you'll see that the screen comes on. There's a backlight to it. It's telling me to turn the ignition on and press any key to continue. So I'm going to slap my key in there. Which from here on the video, you can't see the words. You can just see the light screen, but um, there is it's gonna there is words on here. Hard to see. Yeah, can't anyway, see there's video, a backlight. But... So I, I turn the key to on, and I'm going to hit a key. And it's going to start to scan. Still can't really see it. There you, can, there you can kind of see. So it's scanning my car and finding everything. It found found some stuff here. Monitors, okay. NAs. And then it's going to go into the diagnostics menu where I can... If I have an engine check light, I can go ahead and read codes. Um, stored codes, but no codes are stored because I don't have a check engine light. So go back... Um, you can erase codes if you've got a check engine light and you want to erase it, you can erase it. you got live data, which is if you're driving and you want to see exactly what's going on in your car at the exact time you're driving, gas mileage, whatever, you can go into live data. Uh, freeze frame, I haven't really dealt with the freeze frame yet, um, so I'm not exactly sure what that does. Uh, there wasn't anything in the documentation for it, uh, but uh, um, it's probably... Uh, uh, your live data, but you'd be able to freeze it if you want it. I am readiness, which is cool. That's your emissions readiness. If you got to take your car to go get emissions tested, you'll be able to do it right here and see before you go in to get your test. See, everything passes. I just had my emissions test anyway, but uh, I passed. If you have any problems there, it'll say bad. Um, your vehicle info as well. Um, and if you hit exit, it's going to exit the OBD2 test, and you want to hit yes. This goes into the menu for the actual uh, device here. If you want to change the language, if you want to change your contrast, or unit of measure, I think it's set at metric. So if you want to go to English, you totally can. Or language, let's see what languages there are. A ton. There's eight. So... German, a uh, bunch of language I don't know, <laughs> Spanish, French, Portuguese, English. So there's a bunch of different languages. If you speak a different language and you want this, you know, you can you can see that it does it. So diagnosis just goes back into scanning your car. So a really simple device. It, it's not the uh, colorful graphs and stuff you get with the apps on your phone and when you use Bluetooth or a wireless OBD2 scanner. Um, but this is really nice and easy because it's all attached in one spot. You still get the same information and it's just not the colorful data that you want. So this one's a little bit easier to use because the, the wireless ones you use on your phone, uh, you kind of got to make the graphs yourself, get the information that you need. Um, um, so it depends on what you want. Uh, like I said, this one's really nice and easy. So if you don't know how to do that kind of stuff, you don't really know what you're looking for, this is probably the one you want. Um, but here's here's a sample of live data, fuel system stuff, uh, your load on your engine, shift, um, some stuff, I don't know, there's your RPM, 
Um, there's a bunch of stuff in here that I, I don't even know what they are. Um, I'd have to look. MAF, TP, IAT, I don't know. Is it your O2 sensors, your volts? Um, here's my O2 sensor, bank one. Uh, uh, can't remember what the S stands for, but there's my volt for there. There's my O2 sensor, bank two. Oh, sensor one. Duh. Uh, there's my volts there. So there's all your live information, and, and you just can keep scrolling through and find what you need. Um, but this will do everything you need it to do for an OBD2 scanner. So there you go. That's the Blue Smart OBD2 scanner. Okay, and then let's just take a look at the keys down here. You've got just arrow up and down, enter, and exit. All you really need. This one is a totally simple device. It's simple. It's convenient. You can have this in your car and be able to plug it in even if you don't have a Bluetooth capable device with you, even if you don't have uh, wireless or access to Wi-Fi where you are. This is a great one that is dependable and reliable because you can plug it in and use it. And this piece right here is all you need. So hopefully this closer look at this OBD2 device will help you have a better idea of what you'd be getting with this product.